Happy Thumbs Gaming. Week show. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out walkthrough level 18, Mount Doom for Lego Lord of the Rings. All right, so this is going to be the final stop on our journey for the story mode. It uh, has been quite a long journey so far, and we've had a blast playing it, but it's all built up to this one specific moment for these knee-high PIs who have done a lot of mm, investigating, I guess you could say, uh, traveling across the globe, so it seems. And being as small as they are, I'm sure it's a pretty big world. All right, quick cutscene, and we'll uh, head to some action. Do you remember the Shire, Mr. Furl? Mm. Huh? <laughs> 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 word, word, word. All right. I'm sure our calloused feet are ready for a rest. But we are heading up here, and uh, gosh, it's crazy, crazy, crazy. We're almost to the end. We will say that this is a pretty uh, cutscene intensive level, which is good and bad. So you'll uh, get breaks here and there from my lovely voice. So we're just going to start by working our way up the hill and trying to destroy stuff. As you can tell, uh, I wasn't satisfied that I couldn't break that. But then I figured out here in a second that it's actually something I can build. Alright, so now we got our big pile. We build a little ladder to climb up. And we keep on smashing. So far we've done pretty good in our uh, true adventurer status. Uh, we've discovered all values and we've also uh, met quite a few of them actually. There's only like four I think that we missed. My math's bad so who knows. Alright, that looks hot to me but I don't know. Could be wrong. I had lasagna for dinner tonight, and I stuck my f finger in it to, uh, well, I didn't stick my finger in it, but I uh, was kind of cleaning the side of my plate or whatever and about burned my finger off. I felt like uh, I was dealing with some molten hot magma. It's hot. All right, we'll use our elven rope to climb up. We'll make sure you grab that purple stud. Speaking of studs, and I'm not replying to myself in that manner, uh, the stud requirement for true adventurer status is 85,000 studs. And put your guesses in now. Do we make it for this one or not? We got the last one. The last one was easy. It's only 12,000. Level is pretty short. All right. Most of the stuff's pretty self explanatory. Uh, I'm not necessarily word for word walking you through this, but uh, if I could kindly get your attention on the right hand side of the screen, we will use that rock to smash down what looks like a pole. That will then give us access to a mini kit. All right, some advice: stay clear of that flame coming out, cause it'll burn you over and over and over and over and over again. All right. Well, good thing there wasn't like an actual pull with money involved uh, in regards to whether or not I get true adventure status. Cause if you would have said yes, you might be doubting your bet right now. I wouldn't doubt you. No, I would doubt you. I don't know what I'm saying. I wouldn't blame you. I guess that's what I was going for. All right, so that does not look fun. Uh, big old tumbling rock. Make sure you jump up there if you can. I had some troubles, but uh, we do find our way up there from the other side. Nothing really up there. And, and notice, too, it's dark in the hallway. Uh, you will want to go up there as Frodo. So as you can see, I, I'm like, eh. Nah, we'll pass. Lost enough studage, embarrassed myself enough. All right, it's awfully dark in there. Speaking of Frodo, let's go up in there. Whee! Show us the way. All right, a lot of this is just kind of scripted animations. As you get through the level, it'll drop it like it's hot. Because it's definitely hot. All right, look at that. I actually made it across the beam without falling off three or four times first. Woohoo! Round of applause for me. I know that's such a simple feat, but, you know, the reality of it is I failed miserably at multiple times in this series. So let's all get a good chuckle out of it now, you chuckleheads. 
And you do want to stay up there with Mr. Frodo. No, you don't. I lied. I had it backwards. You want to stay up there with Sam. Which I get over there and I realize, oh, I got to do some digging. And I tried to cut corners, but it doesn't work. So make sure you uh, walk up there and jump down with Frodo. So you can use Sam and his sweet little spade. That not only uh, digs up some awesomeness, but you get to use that awesomeness for something even cooler. A way across for both of you. And I made it across there, too. Hooty hoo. All right, so watch out for the flames. You can avoid those by using the elven rope and pulling that down, as you just saw me do there. And try to smash everything, and oh, look at that. We got ourselves another, another little teeter-totter. Remember when you used to go to the playground and actually play on the teeter-totter and have fun? Yeah, I can barely remember that time either. It's a long time ago. Hey, some of you may be watching this, may still go and play it on the teeter-totter. That's what I love about this game is that the audience is so broad, which is why, you know, you, I've tried to keep it PG as much as possible. We had a few parents uh, contact us and thanking us for an awesome walkthrough, uh, but they uh, also informed us that they had some explaining with a few uh, terms were... Uh, you know, like stud horror and stuff like that. So we try to keep it clean, although, you know, sometimes 15, 20 minutes long, stuff slips out or whatever. Sometimes it's just appropriate, you know, like the the, the old bungholes earlier uh, and like uh, a couple levels back. Yeah, watch out. Mini kid. Yeah, I thought I wasn't going to be able to get it without dying, and I let go and got lucky. My big old toes grabbed a hunt of that level there or that ledge. We'll both climb up top and get ready for a fierce battle. Come on, Mr. Frodo. Are you ready for this? I can't carry it for you. But I can't carry you. Come on! I don't We're almost there. Can hobbits to climb so Ah, the Battle of Gollum. We are pretty much getting to the end of the line. As you guys know, he is one of the last things in our path to destroy this ring at this point. We fought all sorts of people. And speaking of uh, fighting, it takes me a minute to kind of figure out what I'm supposed to be doing here. I, For whatever reason, Frodo gets knocked down there and pinned. And I just thought he was inaccessible. I thought he was down and it was completely up to Sam. So I'm like trying to throw rocks at everything I can see. And uh, hopefully I can save you the hassle. And you can just go ahead and switch to Frodo right now and throw some rocks at him. That's one of the most obvious things so far in the series. Yet it takes me like two and a half minutes uh, to figure this out. Thank God we got it sped up so that, uh, you know. See, you see me throw a rock at him. I'm like, oh, wait a minute. Maybe I can. And this time, my son wasn't here to go, Dad, switch to him. Would have been nice, because I would have already been on my way by now. But nope, still going. Look at this ridiculousness. All right, ready? It's getting close. All right, let's switch. Let's do it, Sam. Come on. All right, here we go. Woo -hoo -hoo. Go ahead and grab a rock, and now that we're actually within throwing distance, we'll go ahead and slap him with a rock. And then we'll grab one with Sam and toss him at it, which then knocks down some of his hearts. You can see we're down to two hearts left. Little Schmeagle. Get out of here, you little Schmeagle. Schmeagledorf. All to the yeah. Right. Smack him with that pan. Frodo! Ring is mine. No! <laughs> so awesome that they uh, incorporated all of this, even the dynamics of uh, fighting as both sides. 
I love the fact that you get to not just see the things happen and go down and witness it, but you get to play as both Sam and Frodo. So, you know, it takes two to tango in this particular scene here. And I was all confused. Why would they have this down here if there's nowhere to go? But uh, we find out in a minute it's kind of our way back up because as we continue to throw Schmiegeldorf around, he ruins some stuff. He's trying to bring down the house here. He really wants that ring. Apparently he has a thing for it. I don't know. Can't tell. It's one of those things. I'm not sure. He seems like he wants it, but... No, I'm just playing. He obviously wants the ring. We are going to collect as many of these studs as we can because we are getting awfully close to that true adventurer status. What do you think, people? We're almost there. Is there any studs left to be got? I don't know. We'll switch to Frodo Do, and uh, we will follow him down. We'll go ahead and smack him around with a sword a little bit. Put it in his culo. We realize that we're not supposed to be Frodo. We're supposed to be Sam I Am. We'll come smack him with the pan. Get him off Frodo. Yeah, there's some weird stuff going on there. Obviously, Frodo's invisible. That's why he's kind of floating around or whatnot. All right, I'm just kind of trying to run for my life, see what's going on here. I even try to take a disguise. He won't see me if I'm over here. <laughs> even though I'm already invisible. It's a double whammy. All right, stage two, knocking more stuff down. Gonna have to find another way up. That's easy enough, though. It's right there. Use our elven rope to swing across and actually pull all that down and destroy it. It's funny, I actually saw that and thought that there would be something in there. I was thinking it was going to be more of like a mini kit, but nope, it's the way out of here. But we do see that there is a gold or bronze handle there that we will need the gloves or uh, some other special character for here on free play. We'll come back though. All right, last heart. We're getting to the last little cutscene, so we'll go ahead and watch that here in a second. And uh, we will return for the stats, and that'll wrap up our story mode. And uh, we'll talk about what's ahead. So, build, build, build. I almost called him Bilbo. Build, Frodo, build. It's going to be a lot funner to say build, Bilbo, build. It's going to be a tongue twister. Throw him around, slap him around. Yeah, switch back, switch back. It's only flashing telling you switch back, dummy. All right. Yikes. Be on Dance with the Stars next time. This is what happens when uh, it lasts longer than four hours. So make sure you call that doctor. So if you're uh, hanging out with your friends, it's the last thing you want to have to explain. Run this made in boo. Boo! Celebrate! It will be good times. There's one last little section here. We'll go ahead and uh, we'll run for our lives right off the bat, head on the right side of the screen, and jump. I actually missed the mini kit that's floating in the midair right about meow. And uh, so just know that when it's time, make sure you jump. And look at that. We are getting so close. Come on, come on, come on. Couple more studs, couple more studs. Ricola! True adventurer reached. Yeah, make sure you don't jump in the lava. I wasn't sure what was going on. He just kind of does it for you. So uh, be wary of that. And uh, hopefully you've got the true adventure by now. If not, just do your best to hit as many of these studs as you can. The rocks obviously break and also spawn a whole bunch of studs as well. So, da -da -da. get any ideas there, Sam? I saw that look in your eye. It wasn't yes, the only it's ring over. he was after. <laughs> it's over now.
Now come the days of the king. does not belong to one man, but to all. All right, he looks like he's ready for a new adventure. What will be next for old Frodo? All right, Mount Doom complete, level complete, free play unlocked. And, uh, you know, that sure feels good. We uh, got the It's Gone trophy. We unlock a couple more characters in our immediate arsenal, as well as knock off the last two unlocked in free roam that we can go now find and pay for. Uh, yeah, buddy. So we did, in fact, make our way to the true adventurer status, which, again, was 85,000 studs. We grabbed two mini kits. We actually could have had three real easy had we have known that was there a little sooner and jumped up and grabbed her. But now we know for the next round. And, uh, yeah, buddy. So it's been a pleasure going through the story mode. Uh, the favorite part of everybody is uh, coming up next, the free play. I know that was our big success story last time. And uh, we should be having some red brick and some mithril brick videos up as well. Let us know if there's anything specific you like or if there's something you're missing now. Uh, if we don't have a video up for it quite yet or at this point, who knows? It may be uh, 2020 when you're watching this. I have no idea. But if there's not a video up for something you need, don't be uh, afraid to ask. You know, we're here to help. That's what our goal is. We try to be as personable as possible and make sure that uh, everybody gets a response. So leave us a message here. Get on Facebook or Twitter. Uh, we're real active on all platforms, so reach out and we will uh, reach back. Just don't bite, because we will bite back. All right, so that's going to go ahead and wrap up Lego uh, Lord of the Rings, level 18, Mount Doom. And, uh, yeah, feel free to comment, vote, subscribe if you like what we're doing. Head on over to Twitter and Facebook like I already suggested. And as always, until next time, free play!